In the previous lecture, we collected hints of the existence of an ancient Israelite myth regarding God's primordial battle against the sea. The reconstructed myth is similar to the story of Marduk's battle with Tiamat in Enuma Elish. Today we know that these two ancient stories, the Israelite and the Mesopotamian, are only two versions of a popular myth which was known all over the ancient Near East. Stories about the battle of a hero god against the Great Sea are known from Syria, Egypt, and the ancient kingdoms of Hatti and Ugarit. We cannot go into details now. You may find some reading recommendations about this widespread myth uh, on the course website. The most remarkable aspect of the Israelite version of this myth is that it is an untold story. It was omitted from Genesis 1 and is nowhere else explicitly related. The only thing we have are fragmentary references scattered throughout the Bible's poetic sections. Why can't we find the full myth anywhere in the Bible? Many scholars believe that the answer to this question is related to the unique nature of biblical religion. Given its monotheistic nature, the Bible could not have accepted a mythological tradition that presented a war of divine agents against the God of Israel. The story was therefore omitted from biblical tradition. In Genesis 1, it went through a process of demythologization, and its mythical parts were hidden. However, traces of this myth, which was once well known among the ancient Israelites, still persist in the Bible. The prophets and poets borrowed images and phrases from the myth and integrated them into their work. In this way, it continued to be transmitted until its fragments were rejoined by modern scholars.